So we actually ended up taking a pretty extended break from our whitetail grind, but we're finally back on it today. And I went back and looked, and it seemed like Whiteheart Island was the map that it's been the longest since we've actually hunted. So we're kind of resuming it here, and just to switch it up, we have the Carbon Recurve, because it's been a while since we've used that. And to continue that a little bit farther, we're kind of spawning outside of normal whitetail territory, so we're up here at this tent. And the plan is to kind of work our way down through the Northern Island, and eventually get on to the Southern Island, and once we get probably even south of like this point, we should start to see some whitetail and just kind of as we're getting to there, hopefully we can run into some turkey, elk, or blacktail. And it would just be the way, the first thing we find, right outside the tent, is actually a pretty decent whitetail. That's at 140 to 165. So we'll have to try to make a little bit of a more precise shot than we have with the heavy recurve. Just because there's not as much power to go through like a shoulder or anything like that. But yeah, we're just a couple of meters from the tent. He grunted. And honestly... There's not a lot of whitetail up here, so the fact that it's a good one is kind of a good sign. Maybe we have an especially good whitetail spawn, but liver and right lung was able to drop him. And a 146, so kind of expected with that estimate. But not a bad way to start, especially when we're not even into the best area yet. Well, he's definitely not very big. That 25 to 45 estimate confirms that, but he actually gobbled probably like within 75 meters as we were just walking by. So I figured we might as well call him in. And even though he's not that big, it is another potential carbon recurve harvest, and as we move towards a thousand total with that, that's definitely something that we want to continue getting, and we've been using the heavy recurve for quite some time as well. So had we used the carbon recurve that entire time, we probably could have it already off the list, but since we've been switching it up, we still have about 160, I think, to go. I actually hit him in the neck, which isn't too bad, but 34 score kind of is too bad. I definitely am pretty optimistic about our whitetail spawn, though. We have another buck already, which I'm surprised he actually sees us since he's not that big. Hopefully we can get a shot off here. And luckily that's going to drop him, but I just fast traveled down to this tent because it's almost 8 a.m. now. And I didn't want to spend too much time on that northern island and get to the point where a lot of white-tailed deer are going to be sleeping by the time we get into the better area. So we're not even actually on the south island, we're just close to it. And already we have a second white tail buck. So naturally he's not that big, and of course we have this tower set up near the water. So I'm not a huge fan of the waves. Hopefully we can just drop this guy. And we can just kind of get out of here and not deal with the wave sounds anymore, but he kind of vehicled straight on our path. And rather than going through there and potentially spooking him, it's worth actually taking him out. And at the very least, he's not super tiny because he bugled a ton. 176 were. And now we're pretty much getting on to the South Island. So hopefully, as we go along here, we should start to see more whitetail. So of course this little guy is trying to sneak in and mess up a probably bigger buck considering how small he is. Kind of let him get a little bit close, but there's another one that grunted out there and hopefully it's gonna be at least a little bigger than what is probably a 50 scoring buck at best. He's kind of got really low time, so I'm not even sure he's gonna make 50. Double lunged him at basically seven meters and yeah, 54 scores, so in all likelihood, the other one coming in is going to be better, but it has grunted twice already, so that kind of worries me. And of course, the more this buck grunted coming in, the more I was worried about this. I mean, technically, at 55 to 80, he is bigger than the other one, but I wouldn't exactly say it was worth our time to try to get him, other than, I guess, for the carbon recurve harvest, but we'll go ahead and drop him anyway, and we can make our way over towards the tower, which... I don't know if there's going to be that many other bucks in the area. We already got the two from right around here, but maybe there's a better one somewhere? Yeah, 63 for that guy, so in total, they didn't even add up to the score of the first one we got. Maybe this guy will get us moving in the right direction again. At least he's got a decent frame. He's still just 115 to 140. He is going to end up walking under our tower here, so we'll see if we can drop him. I've actually been quite pleased so far. We've had no real issues with the carbon recurve. That wasn't very far away. Probably just going to get straight back in the tower. I'm surprised. I didn't think you ever got that specific audio cue. Unless the elk were really close, but he's close to 200 meters out. We might not stay in the tower then, just because we've sat here for quite a long time actually calling in the buck. So it might be best to just kind of continue forward and see if any other deer show up. But 122 for that guy. Still considerably better than the last two. Well, he's definitely not huge at 295 to 340, but 
that's probably the best looking animal we've seen, and probably should have realized that we didn't have any arrows, but fortunately, the carbon recurve is not one of the ones that takes very long to load. We can just drop him, and actually the others didn't spook. We're gonna have to probably take this shot here. That is kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. Managed to drop that, and I think there's at least one other. Let's see what we got for this guy super quickly, because he's not really quite big enough to trophy shot, I would say. 332, though. Definitely not too bad. And then let's see what the third one walking up here is. That might be a little better than the one we just shot, but if it is, it's not by much. 40 to 85. And I think we must have gotten spine two. I tried to go for, like, neck or spine one, but we'll be able to get him and at least not have to track him. Double along this guy and 87 score. I'm trying to remember what the estimate was, but I think 85 was the max on this one, so he's definitely smaller. If we can just go ahead and dispatch him real quick. We'll see what we got for him. Actually, I think he's just a 2x2, two two, so definitely going to be a good bit lower. And actually, barely 300 kg, 65 score. There's been, actually for elk and whitetail now, we've had like one a little bit above average bucker bull. And then the rest have been pretty pathetic. That's kind of an odd score estimate for a max weight estimate coyote. Usually they just go to 60. So I wonder if he's going to be closer to that 58 mark. We'll try to drop him here. There actually were others coming in, but luckily we had a call from one of them and it was just a female, so I actually ignored it. But walking over through here, we got the max weight estimate track and pretty much was able to figure out that he was in the same pack. So. Let's take a look and see what we got for this guy. I think we're guaranteed to have a pretty good one. 26 kg. I think that should be a really good one, actually. Yeah, 57.2. That's one of the best we've had in quite some time, and obviously that 124 CSS shows that. I don't know. Yeah, there are coyote trophy shot poses, and I don't know that we've gotten to use them, so we'll try to get something good with this. It's probably not our best trophy shot of a coyote ever, but... I do like it, and the only reason we're zoomed in so much is this happens, it seems like, with the bobcats and the coyotes. Their legs kind of just end up under the ground a bit, so if we zoom in a little more, it ends up looking better. And we're not quite perfectly in the sun for that same reason his legs are just hidden more turned that way, but it kind of works. We are definitely going to sell that. 124 GM is not bad, and we had to wait for the rain for forever for that picture, so there was a buck that grunted while we were taking it. Maybe he's still in the area. So we've kind of got ourselves into a bit of a difficult situation here. I think there are two different bucks coming in. And this doe actually was completely out of the picture, but I'm pretty sure a bobcat spooked her over and sent her right to us. So the one buck actually I know is not that big. It's down here in front of us, but another one grunted kind of to our left somewhere. And I'm hoping he didn't hear that recurb shot. And actually I think they're pretty much the same size. I can hear the one behind us too. So I can't imagine we're going to get away with this, but we might as well go with the one in front of us. Actually, I didn't hear anything fleeing. Yeah, that guy's just right there. Still pretty much average size, but instead of ending with one deer, we at least have the chance here to end with three. And as I mentioned at the very beginning, working towards getting a thousand carbon recurve harvests, every little bonus harvest goes a long way to helping with that, so... Nothing really special there, and I'm not sure if either one of those bucks is the one that was coming in like when we were taking the coyote trophy shot. I never did get any tracks near there, but we're actually not that far from where we shot it, so I gotta assume one of them is. Well, we actually did send that doe running as well, but not too bad. Ending there with three, and at the very least we got a decent whitetail buck, a decent Roosevelt elk, and a pretty good sized coyote. That 57 is... Probably our best in about a year. I think we won a comp with 57 just about a year ago. But anyway, nice to get back on the whitetail grind. And nice to have a pretty decent hunt with a good variety of good stuff out here on Whiteheart Island. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.